Welcome back. We are joined now by Rob and Darren from Hoodoos. Hello. Hello. How are you guys doing? Great. How are you doing? Good. It smells delicious already, and you've barely started cooking. Yeah, we're just getting started. Got a new, um, this, well, this item has already been on your menu, your feature menu. You're yeah, saying, well, we use our, yeah, our feature sheet goes every four weeks, and when we get a real popular item on that, Darren moves it over to our main menu, and this salmon burger is one of them, and you can smell the chutney already. I know, so. it smells so good. Yeah. So it's been so popular that you guys just decided, put it on the regular menu. Yeah, absolutely. Just wanted to give some variety in our menu, too. Just, you know, the same old, same old beef burger has always been there, or chicken burger, so we wanted to move over to salmon and burger something a little bit different yeah um, and we do ours a little bit different too like it has a little bit of mayo like most burgers do but we do a nice uh, tomato caper chutney with it so mm. it gives that kind of uniqueness um, to that to that burger so it's that kind of our own signature burger and you're actually using a piece of salmon absolutely it's not just ground up salmon and you're smashing it together with stuff it's no. a nice fresh piece of salmon absolutely it's All the right. only way to go so how are we gonna cook it up? So I'm just, just gonna I'm just gonna give it a little uh, sear here, and then yeah. we'll finish it up. We're gonna. It's really nice uh, with salmon. You always want to have it to, to that medium, and just because it has a little bit of carryover cooking. So by the time you get it and eat it, it's just kind of moving into that little bit more uh, to that well side. But it's kind of serving a medium is that ideal time. Well, and I heard with fish, I don't cook a lot of fish because my husband doesn't like fish, but I love fish. So I heard if you overcook fish, that's when that fishy flavor sort of comes in, and that's why a lot of people don't enjoy fish. Absolutely, and you want to get it to that point where it's just. Um, like I said, to that medium where it's just that nice fresh flavor coming out of it. Um, and the longer it just gets, gets really dry too when you overcook it. And yeah. it's, not a, it's not a pleasure to eat, right? Yeah. So when you have it to that kind of that medium there, you get that nice little um, nice flavor to it. It's just, it's got that consistency that you're looking for. Nice. You overcook it, you need the mayo. I, <laughs> you need a lot of mayo. You gotta dip it right in there. Yep. So what kind of uh, do Yeah, you we brought some interesting wines today. Um, we've actually brought this out a couple of times. It's Pinot Blanc from San Albertus. The reason I brought it today was um, it's going to pair real nice with the, with the salmon. Um, and it's sort of very peachy and very fruit forward. It just won a gold medal at, um, uh, I can't remember which award it won, but it did just win a gold medal at one of the Canadian Wine Awards. Nice. Um, but I also brought something kind of fun and special that most people don't know. Uh, Cobort Farms, this family estates, it's a, it's a winery. Um, but it's also got, just like it sounds, it's got farms with a lot of yeah. organic um, uh, fruits and vegetables and, and that kind of thing. Um, this is a really very full-bodied wine, so we want to start off with our Pinot Blanc, sure. if that's okay. That's totally fine. Either <laughs> one you can start off with, I'll be okay with it. <laughs> again, it's a very fruit-forward, very much a patio wine. Um, and again, St. Hubert makes some great wines just over on uh, the West Bank there in Kelowna. Are we sharing with, with you? And you, uh, you can't go wrong. This is a great <laughs> wine to start your day off or even finish your day off. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. It smells. Guess you can smell that very oh, fruit yeah, forward, very delicious. peachy. It's a big fruit bomb is really what it is. Oh, it really is. Lots of fruit flavors in there. It's delicious. Yeah, easy drinking. Um, and you notice I left it a little bit warm. Yeah. Um, so it's not ice cold, so you get that full flavor and a good mouthfeel. This um, would probably taste even better, though, cold. I well, really like cold wine, though. I know a lot of people tell me not to even I put my red in the in the fridge, too. I just bottom like Bottom line is, the way I always say is just drink it how you like it. All right, you cold. Know, it doesn't matter if it's in a <laughs> wine glass or a mason jar or if you got an ice cube in it, it doesn't matter. Well, if it is, if this one is cold, would it take away some of the uh, fruit flavors? Yeah, it, it just it makes it less complex. Um, I had a, a, an Italian neighbor of mine that made his home wine, made homemade wine. Yeah. Robert, if you don't like it, just put an ice cube in it. <laughs> uh, that was his basically routine. So No, this is delicious, though. But yeah, no, it'll go really well. Really good, but I love that pretty much one. everything. Mm, that was and delicious. Especially that, that caper chutney. Uh, but this one here, this is a full-bodied, uh, it's a mix between um, uh, Syrah and Zinfandel. So what would you pair this one with? Meats? A glass. Just like, okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Just a glass. That's fine with me. Um, they I actually, was trying to get fancy they, and yeah. give you some food with it, but I'm no, okay I'm with just No, I'm good with that wine. too. Um, you can tell the Covert Farm's got a little uh, sense of humor because it says on the bottle, it says, uh, a perfect setting. It's head-to-head -head combat with a with spare ribs. Oh, nice. Oh, um, and next up would be a barbecue burger. So oh, right full-bodied reds. Um, and it's again, it's it's called stone face. Um, so people won't realize that it's uh, a full-bodied red. So it's um, a fun red wine, like you said, for barbecues and that sort of stuff. Yeah, and you know, for people like cab salves, um, you know, full-bodied spicy things, this yeah. is your wine. And the sizzling has stopped, so we must be getting close over there. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, you can tell it's going to be a full-bodied wine there. It's got that little bit of a mm -hmm. dust smell to it. Oh, it's strong and it's good. I like it. It is a yep. good wine. That would taste really good with um, any sort of meat, barbecue especially, because of the barbecue smoke and then the strong flavor would yeah, go really good together. Yeah, you can tell it's from, from, um, from BC. It's got a little bit of green pepper in it, uh, where some of these more full-bodied wines from California don't have that green pepper back, back note. Um, this one's got a little green pepper in it. It's delicious. Which I think just freshens it up a little bit. Yeah. So if you're 
a person that likes hot or um, full-bodied spicy wines, um, you can also serve it for somebody that maybe that might be a little too overpowering for. That's delicious. So Darren's got it all nicely cut right on. for you. Okay, well, I take a bite into this one. You can tell us a bit about um, some of the stuff. Yeah, we've got, always got lots of fun things going on. Darren's got a great menu. Um, Thursday nights is our flight night. Darren has a, a 9.95 Appy menu that starts at seven o'clock. Mm, that's delicious. And we do um, beer and wine flights, so you can try some new wines, try some new beers. And coming up soon, we have something special coming. Okay, what's going on? I'm not telling. What? I'm not telling. Well, you can't say that and nope. not tell us. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. Can you give us a little hint? It's It'll be on the Facebook page and websites and social media here in the next little while. Sneaky. Um, but it's going to be fun, <laughs> um, it's, and it's a beverage program. Oh, so, nice. Um, can you say it's not when it's coming wine. up? It's coming up on, it should launch it on September 11th. So. Okay. Yeah, so soon. For that. But then go to your Facebook page to find out yep. all about Watch it. Watch the social media, Twitter feeds, all that kind of fun stuff. This is absolutely delicious. Incredible. Yeah. It's so good because it does, like you said, it's just got like the perfect amount of flavor of the fish and then you can taste all the other chutney that you've mixed in there. It's so good. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Nice it, and it, juicy. It with that. Good with the wine. Cheers. Thank you guys so much Thanks, for much. coming in. Anything else you guys want to make sure you mention before we wrap up? You know what? Um, patio's still rocking. Yeah. Um, there's lots of great new wines on the menu. You come out into a wine flight. Uh, we've got foot golf going on. We've got golf golf going on. So lots of fun things happening up at Sun Rivers, and it's a great great place to hang out and br uh, brunches on Sunday. Nice. Uh, we yeah, do breakfast brunch on Sunday mornings. Yeah, we actually just launched a new feature sheet as well just last week, so we have a few new items on our feature sheet right now. Um, so that's all going on. So go right there now. and make some of those popular, and then they'll make the menu as Absolutely. well. Just like lamb, the salmon burger. On this feature oh, sheet. I'm definitely coming up. Yeah. I love lamb. Thank you guys so much for coming in. It's our pleasure. I hope next time I'm filling in for Susan, you guys are back. But well, you can always come for a road trip. Yeah. I'm going to come for a road trip. Absolutely. But I like when you guys come here and cook for me, just like right in front of me. It's awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. We have You're more welcome. of Midday coming up. Mike Miltimore will join us and talk about some music lessons at Lee's Music.